So after knowing how to start a new project for MEP, now it is very important to know that what would be the workflow of starting a new project. Before you, the ideal workflow of working in a project would be working in a centralized model. But in this video, I am going to show you how to link an architectural model and then how to copy the levels and how to set the units of the uh, MEP project and so on. So this pro this particular video will mainly cover the options of linking an architectural model to an MEP project, also to copy the existing levels to the new project as well as monitor it along with the architectural model. Then we will learn how to set the units and other options while we set up the project. Now let's understand how we start working in an MEP project by linking an architecture model. So in Revit MEP or in Revit, we link a model by going to the insert tab. So we are already in insert tab. Remember that we had opened this file with the default template, which the system's default template and we are here at the zero mech view. Uh, for people who are new to Revit, the zero mech view is basically the, if you go to the elevation of the mechanical uh, elevation, building elevation, you see that there are two levels, that is the level zero and level one view. And zero mech view is the mechanical plan view or the floor plan view of the uh, HVAC plan. So this is this is the plan view that you can see. So here we are going to import since the zero level is the lowest level in this particular project. So we are going to import or we are going to link the architectural model over here. So in order to link the architecture model, we go to the insert tab here and then we have the option over here named as manage link. But before that, we have the option called as link Revit. So we are going to link an existing architecture model to the MEP project that we have started. So when you choose link Revit tool, so you have this import or link Revit dialog boxes displayed. So you browse. So here we I am into my data set folder here and I am selecting the architectural model here, which I want to link and I want to work in this architectural model. I want to add the HVAC system. I want to add the electrical uh, models like the switches, like the conduits, like the uh, equipments. I want to add the fire sprinklers. I want to add the plumbing fixtures and also do the pipe piping in this particular model. So this is the architectural model that I want to link. I have selected this architectural model and here there is a positioning option. There are various options over here like center to center, internal origin to internal origin by shared coordinates and so on. So by default, the auto internal origin to internal origin option is selected. So it means that the internal origin of the architectural model will map with the internal origin of the MEP model that we have opened over here. So once you open this, now it will take a bit time to link the model and the model over here will be linked and you can see that the architectural model will be visible in the view. So here we have the architectural model which is linked and if you click here you find that if you select it you find that the contextual tab name as a link modify Revit link contextual tab will be displayed. So this is the and the properties you can see there's a linked Revit model WFP RME 06 model A is displayed. Now I deselect it. Now, I just wanted to see the 3D view of this architectural model over here and I can see the 3D model of it, but this is a linked model of the architecture project. I can unload, reload or I switch off. I can also control the visibility of this linked model. So how do I do that to control the uh, the availability or, you know, the control the linked model? I need to go to the again. I need to go to the manage tab here and here I have this in the manage tab. I would see that there would be a something that will be helping me to manage the link. So I have this in the manage project. I have the manage link option. 
the tools so the moment i click on the manage links i see that there is a rme uh, project which is linked and the status is loaded if i want to unload it i select it i can unload the project and the project the architectural model will not be visible in the screen so you can see that the moment you have unloaded it the architectural model goes away and if you want to bring it back again so you can go to the manage links over here again and then you can select the link over here and say reload so remember that you can have more than one link whether it is a cad object or a ifc object or point cloud or revit model in this particular project so it is loaded over here and then if you want to control the visibility of this particular link model you can go to the view tab and then you have the visibility graphics so here here you have you can see that the moment you go to the visibility or graphics override for 3d view you would see there is a tab which is named as revit links that opens so you can click it click this checkbox in order to control the visibility of the link model in this particular view remember it will be visible in the other views so that particular setting was view specific so if i want to get my visibility in the 3d view back i need to go to the visibility graphics here and the visibility graphics overrides for 3d view is open go to the revit link and then click on the checkbox and bring it back so this is something that uh, you know uh, that you have seen apart from that if you want to see what are the levels existing levels that you have here so i would see that there is a ffl level so if you want to select individual objects in the linked model if you click it you cannot select it so you have to press the tab key and then if you select individually you can select the object like for example if i want to select the level i press the tab key i can see that you know just zoom inside and press the tab key and you have the now you can see this is a building elevation yeah the datum you know it's a project datum which is the first floor and this is the type you can see and uh, if you want to see the properties of this wall press the tab key right and select it you can see there is a there's a concept wall so you can check the properties of the object of the linked model by pressing the tab key okay so here you have got uh, different levels over here you have got three levels in this particular model that comes in the architecture with the ground floor which is the first floor and the roof and here for this particular uh, template we have level 1 and level 0 so i'm going to select and delete this one because i want to copy the level that we have in the uh, so it once i delete this one the level 1 all the views of the level 1 is gone from the project browser this is to be noted over here so idea over here is now i want to copy and monitor these levels from the linked model to the uh, to my mep project so in the next video you will learn how to copy and monitor the linked model that means you're copying the levels you're copying the grids and you're monitoring it with the architecture model thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and as well as to like the videos. Thank you.